What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode, it's your boy Drain here and today we are back in American Track Simulator, so we're back into states. Uh, today we are in Colorado Springs and we're going to New Mexico, uh, we have an aircraft engine as you can see behind on this beautiful flatbed, uh, which by the way I just bought, it's a brand new trailer, and today we are riding in this custom made Freightliner, it's a beast. It's lovely, it drives so nice, I'll show you and you'll you'll see that for yourself. Um, it's a free mode, so I'll put a link into the description in case you are interested. And before we do the classic um, cold start, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It helps a lot and it's much appreciated and it keeps me going, guys. So let's do the cold start and then we'll move inside and I'll show you the cockpit of uh, of truck this is a rod rag engine I love it it's a cat c15 so it's a 15 liter um, engine a thousand and eighty eight horsepower it's not about horsepower in here it's all about torque uh, we need a lot of torque uh, to pull this massive um, you know cargoes so uh, here we are and it comes with a lot of nice beacons on this is uh, what I've choose so basically everything is fully customizable you can choose whatever you want but uh, that's what I like about it uh, by the way I've uh, named it uh, the buffalo I don't know why but it just looks like a buffalo uh, for some reason I don't know if it makes sense but uh, I love the name that's how it looks inside if you watched my previous episode uh, you already know wherever I'm going I have my minions with me so uh, you can see them on the screen shield well above the screen shield uh, a few um, air freshers in here and this is the interior it's a classic cockpit I love it it's customizable as well uh, you have a few options, but that's what it suits me. So uh, I think before um, it's too late, we need to hit the road. Let's just rev it a bit. I love it. Just, uh, just love the sound. And I guess it's time to hit the road, guys, because uh, it's getting late and we have about 450 miles to do. Let's see, where is the exit? Here we go. We're gonna exit this way and then we need to turn uh, left straight away. Okay, let's go wide yeah here we go Such a beautiful cockpit. I don't know if you like it, guys. Let me uh, let me know what you think about it uh, down below. Uh, I think it's a lovely truck. Here we go. Let's just roll down the window for a bit. It's so detailed, and uh, as I said, it comes with so so many features. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. Turn right. Come on, sir. I'll let you go and then I'll join. Here we go. Let's make sure we're not hitting anything. Here we go.
Looks like uh, we have a bit of traffic in here, but uh, hopefully it's getting better when we go into the interstate. Here we go. Go on, dude. So, uh, this is a new client, guys. Um, just a bit of, you know, detail. Uh, details about the job. So, it's a new client I've been put in contact with by a friend of mine. Um, he's out of the country at the minute. And um, this company, basically, they make uh, aircraft engines. Uh, they're working with my friend for a while. And... Um, they were looking for other drivers as well, because obviously they can't rely on one driver, as you can imagine. Um, and my friend being away uh, thought it's the perfect opportunity, so uh, when they called, he just uh, put me in contact with them. You know, we got in touch and everything. And, uh, you know, they were happy with uh, what we agreed. And uh, now, uh, you know, two weeks after, uh, or two weeks later, uh, we're hauling uh, one of the engines, which is the first one. Um, and I want to make sure I do a good job, because obviously um, I want to keep them as clients. They pay a lot of money, guys. Um, so for this um, 450 miles, we're getting paid about 45,000. Uh, just because of the value of the cargo. Uh, they want to make sure everything is uh, spotless and uh, flawless, you know, when it comes with these kind of things. Um, so they, uh, they're willing to pay a lot of money, which they did. And I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, now it's up to us to basically make sure we get there safe and on time. This is really important for them, apparently, to get there in time. It looks like we're gonna get stuck behind this guy for a while. Uh, I'm not in a rush anyway. So, uh, anyways, guys, what you up to? Um, I know I have a few fellow truckers watching uh, my videos, um, and once again, I appreciate it and um, I love watching your content too. Uh, so, for those who play in the game, making videos or not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what you up to guys, where are you located, um, where you like uh, going in ATS, um, what states, maybe what cities, uh, you have any uh, favorite locations, and obviously do you have any favorite trucks or mods, um, I'm really curious uh, what you like and uh, why not maybe what do you like to see in here. That's a nice old farm in there. I can't. Turn right. Why it's always a car approaching when I'm trying to, to turn? Wow, it's... Um, <laughs> this is crazy, guys. It's just because obviously, as you know, we need to go as wide as we can when turning because of the length of trailer. Um, and every time I need to turn, and it's a sharp turn, a 90 degree turn like this one, the car is approaching when I need to turn, so I can't go as wide as I, uh, I would normally go. Uh, I think it's just my luck. 
Uh, but um, we will manage, uh, we always do. And driving and seeing this in front of me, guys, and then seeing the spirit of ec ecstasy on the hood. It's beautiful. I'll uh, move outside in a second. Let me just uh, give me one sec. Here we go. Once again, I'm using the JBX graphic modes, uh, which are insane. I'm still amazed. I can't say it. I just can't say it enough. So, this makes the game, you know, it, it takes it to, to a different level. A whole new experience just because of the graphics. safe to speed up a bit uh, not too much but um, we'll stay within 55 uh, miles well 65 now uh, I don't want to don't want to speed um, you know too much I just want to make sure we get there in time so we should be there well they want us to be there by uh, 4 o'clock in the morning I'm pretty sure we'll be there by midnight but uh, my number one priority is to make sure we get there safe. And then we'll uh, talk about time. Oh yeah, baby. You can really, really feel this power, guys. This truck, it's so powerful. You have no idea. Continue straight. We go. Just realized we had no lights on. Well, we had a day daylight, but obviously we need uh, a proper low beam light. Turn right. Everybody uh, stops and slow down. Ooh, that looks like a nasty uh, accident. I hope everybody's uh, safe in there. It doesn't look too good. In 
400 meters. Turn left. Turn left. Keep right. Looks like somebody's in trouble in here. Probably uh, speed. <laughs> we we'll keep it within the, the speed limits, so uh, no tickets for us is the last thing I want. We no rush as we are in front uh, time wise. We, um, as I said, we have time till four o'clock in the morning. It's about midnight, and we have probably 90 miles left or something, so we should be there within an hour and a half, maybe. Continue straight. Not a problem, Mr. Morgan. Pretty sure we are approaching um, New Mexico uh, border at the minute because in front of us is the city of Cortez. So when we pass that, we officially in uh, New Mexico. I think we need to turn right in here. I think I was about to say left for some reason. Uh, we're going right, we're not turning right, okay. So this is uh, the city of Cortes, or town of Cortes, I don't know. I don't know if it's a city or a town. Um, so... We shouldn't be too far away from, uh, from our client.
country. I think I got the wrong lane. It's the next left, not this one. Uh, but it's fine. As I said, we we lucky there is no um, traffic at this time. Well, there's a few cars, but nothing major, so um, we won't cause any issues to the other, you know, the other people in traffic. We'll uh, we'll be fine. Basically, this is where we need to turn, turn left. left. Yes, we will. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you. No problem, sir. Let's just make sure we're not hitting anything. Let me reverse a bit. First, and let's go uh, wide again. We go. I think this is it, and then obviously we need to reverse a bit. people so uh, let's kill the engine that's it we'll uh, call it a night we we are here so I need to go and speak with the manager uh, but before I do that um, thanks for watching today's episode guys if you like what I'm doing please don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, just take care and stay safe in there I'll uh, see you next time